Welcome to this video guys. In this video, we will create your first Flask application in Visual Studio Code and we will run it. We will install Visual Studio Code in a virtual environment so that you know what the standard practice is. So let's get started. First, click on this file here and click on open folder. We will create a new folder for our Flask project. So I'll just create it in desktop. If you want, you can go to any other directory like D, C or anywhere else and you want to uh, create a new folder. So I'll create a new folder and I'll call it my Flask app. Click on select folder and your folder will now open here in your navigation panel in Visual Studio Code. Now you need to create a virtual environment. So click on this terminal here, click on new terminal. And now to create a virtual environment, enter this command python dash m v e n v and then give any name to your virtual environment. As a standard practice, I'll just write v e n v itself. If you want, you can write my v e n v or anything else. Hit enter and your new virtual environment will be created. So as you can see, the folder is created and it is still processing. Let's wait till the process is complete. Once the virtual environment is successfully created, you need to activate it so that you can install Flask in this virtual environment. To activate, just enter the folder name and then scripts. Make sure the S is capital here and then hit activate. And your virtual environment will be activated as denoted by this VENV in front of your directory path here. Once you have activated the virtual environment, you need to install Flask. So the simple command is pip install Flask. Now this will install Flask in this virtual environment and it will only be available for this project. If you have another project, you can install another version of Flask or another dependencies in that virtual environment. So this is a standard practice of doing projects in Python and you should follow these steps. Now that we have Flask installed, let's go ahead and create our first Python file. Click here to create a new file and let's call this app.py, hit enter. And now here you can write some Python code. You can pause the video and enter this code. Now this is a simple Flask code that creates a route flash. This means that whenever you open this URL, that is the main URL for this website or app, hello world will be printed and we are running our app on port 8000. So you are seeing this warning here because the Python that is selected right now is a global Python version, not the virtual environment because we have only installed Flask in the virtual environment. So you can just change this by clicking on this and clicking the virtual environment. And now as you can see, the warning is also gone. So now that we have our app.py ready where we are creating a basic route that will print hello world and we are running it, let's try to run this app. So again, go to terminal. And as you can see, the virtual environment has been deactivated because we had closed the previous terminal and this is a new terminal. So if you do it, you'll have to activate the virtual environment again. And now you can run Flask commands. Now make sure that you don't have to activate virtual environments every time again. You can use the shortcut control and this tilde icon to hide the terminal and then press control and this again to unhide the terminal. Now we can run the Flask app by entering python app.py and as you can see, it says your app is running on this address. So if I control and click on this address, the browser will open up and hello world will be printed as it's the only thing that we have defined here. So this is the route that is the base URL. And this is the base URL. And whenever that is entered, hello world is printed. Now we have successfully installed Flask and run your first Flask application. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.